Oh, why hello there, I didn't see you come in. This is Effing Controller, and we are in Montevideo, and due to colossal lack of interest, <laughs> um, no, well, nobody really suggested a name, but that's okay. I'm going to give it one of my own design, and you guys are going to regret it. It's another blood-related name. How about that? Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> Blood farts is a nice name. Oh my. Okay, well, let's just take our imperial vandalism elsewhere and uh, make our way to China. We're using the often used uh, southern route around the tip of South America. Uh, there's a river there and there's occasionally discoveries, but we're going to bypass that now. Uh, because I plan on doing kind of an expanded expedition later where I'll uh, circumnavigate North and South America and hopefully get mad loot. I hate myself for saying that. Here's the uh, Strait of Magellan and I think we're just gonna breeze right through. To this day that is one of the most hazardous areas to sail. I don't think anybody really does it. So that went really well. All right, and there is a village. Let's see what treats they have in store for us. A whole lot of nothing. Let's entertain him. And if it's... I think I know what this is, and it shouldn't really require any entertaining. Yeah. I've never had to really, uh, entertain to five. That's weird. So we have the vampire bat. A large bat with a 12-inch wingspan. It uses its sharp teeth to make a shallow wound on its prey. It secretes a liquid to prevent the wound from closing and feeds on its blood. Wow, this has already been a really bloody episode. I haven't even I haven't even done any combat yet. I hope that I get a chance to show that to you guys cuz it, it's simultaneously pretty cool and kind of lame. <laughs> I don't know how else to to phrase it. Uh Okay, Valparaiso. Let's go ahead and park it here. Get another supply port. Pretty much all the ports on this side of South America are going to be supply ports. And I'm going to resupply first. I'm going to get my goods before I vandalize their port. And then I'm going to rename this after my favorite Burt Reynolds television show. A little place called Evening Shade. Where's the end? Wow, I couldn't read. I uh, in college I took a show or uh, I took a show. I took a class called Writing the Situation Comedy, and one thing I learned is that sitcom writers are must be existentially tortured people because they provide no product of worth. But they also uh, have a really strenuous schedule, and they also have to work with people like Burt Reynolds. It is a nice name. That actually is quite pleasant. Not so gory. And actually, the, what my point was is that the teacher um, in that class actually wrote for Evening Shade. <laughs> and I wanted to kind of sock him in the mouth for doing that, <laughs> but... I kind of wanted a good grade, I guess. I don't know. It's usually advisable not to beat your professors within an inch of their life. Okay, here's Melendo. And that lake up there, I think, is uh, Lake Boob Poop. Or in Spanish, Lake Titicaca. But uh, that is a discoverable discovery. <laughs> uh, but I don't think we're going to get the village for it. I don't need to really resupply. How about we call this, uh, going with the sitcom theme, name it after my favorite sitcom actor, Bronson. How about we make it sound fancy and give it a hyphen? Is there a hyphen? Oh, there's an equal sign. <laughs> well, wait, that's going to be real confusing. I don't know if this is good math. Bronson equals Pincho. <laughs> I 
I like that somehow. That the math does work. That is a good formula for success. That for success. That was not a good formula for success. Stuttering like a complete idiot. Bronson equals Pincho. Wow. Okay. We're gonna keep going. There should be another uh, supply port to the north that we're gonna stop at before I end my uh, campaign of destruction against uh, the South American ports. And from there, we're gonna take an abrupt change of direction. This is what I was looking for. Talau. Um. I don't know what to name this. Hmm. How about we just name it after? Oh, we'll name it after a hero from our other Let's Play. Our other Let's Play. I'm using the royal we. I apologize. There's nothing royal about me. We're naming it after good old Captain Spunkmeyer. Who, I guess this would be kind of an anachronism, but deal with it. I don't have any better names. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, now we do definitely need to resupply because we're going to take a very long journey. A voyage long and strange. The reason I'm going from here to the west... Surprise, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to China. But um, the reason I'm doing this is because if you set sail due west from this port here, Kalau, or Spunkmeyer, correctly, uh, you'll run into something that I didn't know about for years. So we're just going to enjoy the tunes, enjoy the rollicking waves as they caress the underbelly of our boat. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Mm -mm. Nectar of the gods. Well, at least I think we're going to run into something. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to look really silly if we don't. I think it's a little bit further. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? How many days? We've got a fair clip, too. We should be getting close. I think I missed it somehow. You know what? It's a little bit to the north, I think, too. Hmm. Well, I'll be dipped in shit. I think I might have missed it, so we're going to backtrack and try to locate it. Um, so that I can correct my statement to let you guys know where to actually find this next time you play. 140, my god. I'm not made of money. Let's see. Well, maybe I didn't go far enough. For those of you who know a little bit about geography, you can probably tell where I'm trying to go. Um, for those of you who don't, I... Shame on you for not memorizing the globe. I guess I'm going to stop back in port because... I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Maybe it's the other uh, port that we're supposed to sail west from. I bet that's it. And thinking about it, that would make a little bit more sense, too, based on the location of ooh, of where it actually is in real life. Now, this is an interesting little village. And in fact, I'm going to uh, stop here after I resupply because I'm running a little bit low on food and if that's what I think it is it's gonna take a little bit of grub oh my goodness just a absolute surfeit of villages gonna get help from Captain Spunkmeyer here that's good though we got some levels for our crew um, I don't know the exact way it works but I get the feeling that once you oh my dog's barking hang on a second Okay, where were we? We were leaving, is where we were. And I'm gonna jog up to the north here. Let's see what's over here. Alright. They're not going to be very forthcoming with the details. I'm gonna ply them with wine, women, and song, none of which we have. So this is gonna take a while. Okay, let's get it up to 20. Take a gander. 
I wish you could just set an amount that you entertain them to. I... I don't know if that would necessarily be realistic, but... Be a little bit less annoying, for sure. And this is looking like it's going to be something delightful, based on the amount of entertaining we're having to do. Marvelous! Temple of the Sun! A pyramid-shaped shrine in the central Andes with distinctive frontal stairs climbing 33 feet to the top. Beautiful. And let's just do a real quick food check. Got quite a bit, so that's alright. I'm gonna go over here to the Galapagos. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, never mind. Woohoo! <laughs> Go over here to the Galapagos Islands, and I'm pretty sure I know what we're going to find here. Charles Darwin. Lost in time. And I know that we're going to have to do quite a bit of entertaining. I don't know why I just entertained there, or searched. <laughs> Wake up. I was trying to shake my head around and make a crazy person sound. I think it's just going to end up coming across as mic noise, so I apologize for that. Par for the course. Sauce for the goose. Mr. Chekhov. This is going to probably be a 55-er. It's my guess. Maybe a 60. Let's go ahead and try 40, though. Nope. Boy, oh boy. Fifty-five. Let's give it a shot. Lovely. It is the giant Galapagos tortoise. A large, slow-moving tortoise that can weigh as much as 500 pounds. Its domed shell sometimes grows as long as three feet and serves as protection for its elephant-like skin. It's the size of Andre the Giant. We're going to sail this away. And I'm going to find what I was telling you guys about because it's really important that I show it to you. For completion's sake. I'm going to go back to this other port over yonder. <laughs> Bronson equals Pinchot. I forgot about that. It's a winning formula. All right, we're going to resupply, and then we're going to sail due west from here, because I think that's going to give us a better result. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, we are moving very, very fast, so this shouldn't take very long. Heh <laughs> Now, this place that I'm going sometimes has something amazing, and other times it doesn't. It probably won't this time around because we've been pretty lucky with the discoveries. Am I heading? Yeah, that looks about right. I kind of hope that it doesn't have the discovery that I'm thinking it might have, because... Um, from here, I plan to go west to Australia, and then up to China. Hmm. Getting a little bit... far away. The suspense is terrible. It's gotta be... Well, shit. Where is it? <laughs> I feel like a fool. I guess we'll just kind of zigzag back and forth here. Silent Hunter style. One advantage of or having the map is that you can do this. And you'll get a little bit more of a view of what's around you than you would if you uh, were just looking at the screen. I don't know if that makes sense. More of the map gets uncovered than of the... Um, 
of what you see on the screen. So, this is Tahiti. So we definitely missed what I was looking for. Um, and I'm not sure how I'm doing this wrong, but in any event, we're in Tahiti. And I don't know what to call this. Let's just call it something stupid. How about... Oh, we gotta name it after Marlon Brando. He is Tahiti. Why don't we, yeah, we'll just call it Marlon Brando. His body forms most of the island, or formed most of the island. I don't know what happened to Tahiti after he died, so... Alright. Liking this. Beautiful. I think I think that's a fitting tribute. It is a nice name. I'm sure that he would agree. And then he would eat you. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop pushing A, and I gotta stop making fun of Marlon Brando, because he will rise from the grave and consume me. Okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna off-screen this until I find this, so because I just feel bad for you guys at this point. Hang on. I think we found it. Yes! And it was way further south than I anticipated, and it does not have a village. You can... whoops. <laughs> you can see the map, and then you can see that it has Moai statues on it. This is Easter Island. And if you're lucky, there will be a village there. Uh, let me show you the map again, so you guys can see where it is. I was actually wrong about which port you sail due west from. It's the southernmost of the um, Pacific Coast uh, South America ports. So, fun fact! Um, if you're ever playing a game and you want to get Mad Dalla Dalla, or see if there's possibly Mad Dalla Dalla, go there. And lose Mad Dalla Dalla to your crew. Actually, 140 at this point is pennies. Okay, so we're going to go back up to Tahiti and eat some coconuts. And then we're going to go southwest from there. And actually, I'll just cut to Tahiti. Or, excuse me, Marlon Brando. Okay, you can see I kind of sailed us west-southwest from Tahiti. And we've hit New Zealand. Or should I say, Middle Earth. And villages. My goodness. Let's see what they've got here. Nope, you can't land on water, that doesn't work. It's a contradiction of terms. Alright, nothing immediately. How about I entertain off-screen? Okay, I've been searching up until this point, and I'm at 65, which is usually the max. What? It seems like my uh, friendship levels have to be up by at least another level every single time I search for something. But 70 is a lot, and this is going to be really valuable. The MOA! Oh, an ostrich-like bird, incapable of flight, measuring over 10 feet in height, its massive and well-developed hind legs <laughs> help it run very fast. I'm not attracted to Moai, Moaiai, um, whatever the plural is. Ah, oh, but thank goodness we found that. Port of Wangagai, or whatever it's called. If you swing that way. Oh, Wanganui. We're going to uh, rename this right off the bat. Okay, and for some reason that guy's got a goofy green hat on. I don't think that the Maori looked that way. Just a hunch. But I'm going to, since he appears very Hobbit-like, <laughs> uh, I could call this Hobbiton, maybe? No, but I like the Shire. Do you remember the taste of strawberries and cream, Mr. Frodo? Oh, dear me. I'm an idiot. Let's go! Oh, no, we've got to resupply immediately. I was surprised. You know, I think I've only run into the MOA as opposed to the MOAI. 
The Moai is the thing on Easter Island. The Moa, on the other hand, is pretty rare. I've only come across it in a couple of other games, so... You guys got to see a real treat there. We're gonna go uh, around the South Island here. And actually, you know what? We should completely circumnavigate this. Just because I think there are other discoveries possibly on the North Island, too. That's a big fat nope. Because that's where we hit New Zealand. So we're good. Uh, we're going to take a quick jog down to Australia because I have some unfinished business there. And I will off screen the sailing portion of our journey. Okay, we're here in Geelong. And I need to rename this as promised to certain users. Uh, so I think it was. Was it Death Cat that. Whoops. The Death Cat that recommended Port Irwin. So I'm going to name this in honor of the, our dear friend. Steve Irwin. Do you guys really need to see me spelling these out? I don't know, but you're going to have to suffer through it. Ah, uh, Steve Irwin. Our own rainbow warrior. His wife actually grew up not too far from where I live. There you go. Port Ir Irwin is a nice name. That's a nice commemoration. Now let's go to the other Australian port because I also have to take care of something there. Okay, and here we are. This is Levesque, I think. And that's going to get changed. And from here, um, I think I'm going to take us directly to China. I was going to do some other explorations, but... Nah. Alright, so we're going to name this port... As suggested by Influx, who ruins everything. <laughs> you maniacs! You blew it up! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's fabulous. Oh dear me. I'm gonna get some hate mail. Alright, so we're gonna. Well, actually, you know what? Since we're here. I am going to do some explorations of kind of Micronesia. Um, we did run into Tahiti, but there are other some there are some other uh, uh, ports that we need to uh, discover, and also some possible discoveries to be discovered. Uh, that's New Guinea. That's not where we want to go. Actually, let's go out into the Coral Sea, and we'll start our journey. I think by turning north from. Um, the eastern tip of uh, New Guinea here. You know what? This game does not... Uh, it's not Moresby. It's Attenborough. What am I talking about? This game doesn't uh, model leap years. I just realized that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if, you're playing, if you're playing this game long enough for that to matter, you've got some problems. Alright. We are supplied and ready to go. Sailing around this way, this is a Y, and actually let me just make sure I've got my bearings right. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So I don't know if we're going to run into storms here or not. By all logic and reason we should. So the Solomons here, we already hit those. And I don't know exactly where I'm going. I know that I'm looking for Guam. Guam is in the game. That's Guam there. That's not Guam. That's a village. Um, Guam should be nearby, though. I'm totally lost out here. I can never remember where anything is. That's like Chook or something like that there. I would like to find Guam because it's a good supply port. That's probably it there. It's really hard because there's nothing to relate you to anywhere else. Whoa! <laughs> Got a little bit out of control there. Um, I don't know what to call this. I'm willing to, you know, I'm willing to have people rename some of the ports that I gave throwaway names to. 
Um, just because, you know, I technically it wasn't my intention to do that. Um, did we already... Here, hang on a second. Okay, I was just checking to see if we'd use the name that was uh, supplied by somebody. Uh, I don't have a name for this one, so let's keep up with our horrible 80s and 90s sitcom theme and call this Port Bayo. Whoops. Just think right now, Scott Bayo is making love to a woman he doesn't even love. Don't think about that. Alright, we're resupplying, and gonna go to that other island that I passed by. Again, I think it's probably Chook or Marcus or one of those weird ones. Definitely in Micronesia, though. That's really the main thing I was looking for. Whoa! That was not good. <laughs> I've angered the gods by naming something after Scott Bayo. Um, so this is kind of tricky. If you're in a supply port when a storm strikes, you can't go to the lodge, obviously, so you kind of have to do the old in and out. You have to walk in and out of the uh, harbor to kill time, unless you want to kill yourself and go out into the ocean, but maybe we'll chance it. Maybe we'll give it a whirl. Actually, what we should do is take a look at our boat and see how it's doing. Well, the durability is full on it. I'm a little bit conflicted about what we should do here. How about we leave tomorrow? I'll just off-screen walking in and out of the harbor. It's 1.30. Do you know where your cartographer is? <laughs> Let's get out of here. That took a while. <laughs> Glad that I off-screened that. Uh, did not need to resupply, but I did it. Proud I did it. We are going to head, what was that, southeast, I think? Cool. So far, no storms. And we should actually be out of the danger zone for storms at this point. There we go. And this discovery eluded me for a long time, too. Um, I think it's going to require quite a bit of entertaining. So, again, more off-screening. Lucky you! We discovered a cultural artifact. The Indo-Pacific cowrie, a rare snail with a beautiful shell that lives deep in the sea. Its shell is used as an amulet by tribal leaders and shamans in the area. It's beautiful! All right, it looked kind of like a Cylon there for a second. I don't know. Maybe I've been watching too much Battlestar Galactica. All righty, where am I going? How about we go to the Philippines, because that's all I really want to do there. And then we will go to China. Should just be due west. I hate showing you guys stuff that you've already seen in this game, because so much of this... Oh. I was not expecting that. Where is this? Where are we? I have no idea what this is. My goodness, is this a new discovery for me? I thought I'd seen everything. Alright, well, I'm gonna entertain this up. And I'm actually gonna record this because this could be a big moment. I don't know. I don't know what island is here. Like, in, in real life, so I can't think of what this would be. I'm not so hot on my oceanic, uh, Indo-Pacific geography. I know a little bit about the islands in Micronesia and the South Pacific because of, you know, World War II and everything, but other than that, pff, forget about it. Well, this is going to be pretty valuable, though. don't have any idea. An exotic animal that didn't eat my crew. That's good. Oh, another bat. I've definitely had one of these. I've had one of these. I haven't eaten a fruit bat. I've had this discovery before, so I just forgot where it was, I guess. Um, 
just as the name suggests, this bat lives off of fruit. It is a very rare delicacy at tables throughout the area, so I guess I wouldn't be out of line to eat one. Or would I be? No, I wouldn't. I would eat a bat. I'm going to go ahead and go on record as saying I would eat bats. Alright, so we are in... The port that shall not be named. <laughs> Thank you, Influx. And then we're going to run up to China and not record running up to China and should not have recorded me walking in and out of the harbor like an idiot like that. Okay, so this is our objective. We are trying to find that stupid thing. And things are looking promising because you can see um, that the temperature line is just about where I need it to be. Now this river is going to turn north, the Yellow River, and there's a desert. I think I nailed it. I think I got this. Okay, so now we need to look at the map. Not that map. Make a farty sound. And push the right button. Carry the one. Look at the exact location. Okay, so it's right at the crook of the river. And I see exactly where it's supposed to be. There we go. Nothing to it. Ha! That was a lot of work for very little reward. We're actually not going to get very much out of that. We're going to get a little increase in rank, which is pleasant and nice, but it, it's uh, not that big of a deal. Although you do have to do shit like that. You have to be the king's or the governor general's errand boy in order to advance in rank, so... You gotta do it. Um, I'm gonna go back to Europe, and since the northern climbs, that's how I'm going, since... Oh, you know what? No, I'm going by Africa so that I can buy gold and sell it. Well, either way, you guys have seen me do that plenty of times. So I'm gonna do that, and you'll see me again in Amsterdam. Uh, for now, I'm gonna end the... Um, I was gonna say I'm gonna end the patrol. I have been playing way too much Silent Hunter. So uh, we're gonna end the voyage <laughs> for now. Uh, this is Zephyr Controller, having played uh, Uncharted Waters New Horizons, and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.